Hey, this is Cobra. I hope you're all well. Now, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to express my thanks and gratitude to all of you who have supported this channel thus far, and all of those who are yet to come. Currently, we're sat on about 1.5k subs and growing daily, which is great. And I hope by the end of this year to have hit the 10,000k subs mark. I think we can do it. I'd also like to thank you all for expressing your views and commenting on the videos, which is fantastic to hear. So from me, once again, thank you all. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. In this video, we're going to talk about all of the different structures that you can build within DayZ. We're going to be dealing with base builds ranging from tents to big old watchtower bases like this in an effort to try and keep your hard earned loot as safe as possible for as long as possible. We'll also be discussing how best to try and keep this safe. This is one I built up near Tizzy a little while ago. So we're just laying the fence kit in, placing the logs and using the shovel to lay the foundations. So now they're in, we're now going to start building up and I'm going to put a metal fence on top. So there's your basic fence, you can have it all wood, all metal or half and half like I have. If you want to turn it into a gate, you simply place the metal wire and use your pliers. Then if you want to then attach barbed wire both top and bottom, very simple, you place it on from the infantry and use your pliers again. This is what it looks like, both top and bottom. And lastly, if you want to add a camo net, again, you can add it by walking up and clicking the attached or by doing what I've just done in the inventory, and that is the finished article. So we've just put down the watchtower kit, and as you can see, we're putting the four logs for the base, sorting that with the shovel, and now we begin the few minutes worth of building all of the sides up. Now this is the bit that takes a little bit of time, so I've sped it up a little bit for you. The one thing you must remember is look where my position was when I'm building the stairs and the roof, as well as the second layer of the base. You have to stand a little bit away from it where the actual entrance is in order to get the uh, cursor which allows you to build. Sometimes got some strange old angles as you can see here. So don't be afraid or don't panic if it doesn't automatically allow you to build. Now the roof looks pretty good. And here is the finished article. We're just going to give you a bird's eye view and then we'll give you a view from your character on the ground. And as you can see, some great views. And that's a watchtower. So here we are, building our shelter kit. First thing you need is rope and four short sticks. You can bind the pair and it will provide you with your shelter kit. Then it's a matter of placing it. And once it's placed, you then fill it with four long sticks and 50 short sticks. It will then give you an icon to build which is what we're doing here, and it will end up looking like this. It's a hundred slot storage, and to have a look around at all sides, it's very well camoed, ideal for woodland places, very difficult to spot, but you will need a few, like two knives in order to complete this, at least. You will need to decide whether you'd want a lever or a tarp shelter next. All you need to do is repeat the first process, and if it's going to be a leather shelter, you'll need eight pelts from killing animals. And if it's a tarp, you'll need four tarps generally found in farming buildings. All have a hundred slot capacity.
Now this is one of my castle builds. As you can see, I've just laid the first gate. We're outside now, creating a bit of an airlock. And the thing you've got to remember here is to always, if you're going to do it from the opposite side, make sure you turn or rotate the wheel on your mouse around so that, as you can see, the gate is actually being built from the inside rather than the outside. That's vitally important. So next we're putting on the wire for the gate and the barbed wire up top just to kind of hoard off any kind of unwanted visitors. So next we go back inside. This is the second gate on the entrance to the castle. And again, we're going to do the same. We put the uh, metal wire on to create the gate and then the barbed wire up top. So let's get to the second floor then. And we've got to work out a way now of sealing this off and what I've decided to do is put it at a bit of an angle so that it actually fits nicely it's quite snug you're going to see now and this one we're working on becomes the third gate so there's the wire and if you look at the top of the stairs here if someone's raiding you you've got great views easy snipes so we're just going to fill out a little bit of the areas now with some storage Four barrels, there's a medium tent there and then we're going to go upstairs and finish the build with our main double sided watchtowers. Now you don't need to build the full watchtowers here, I have because it gives you that extra elevation to view what's happening around you and I've decided to build this one all from metal sheets. I just think it looks a little bit better. We'll speed this up a little bit because you don't need to be seeing the same thing built and built and built. And as you can see, it's really easy to do. On official servers, this is going to uh, take quite a lot of metal sheets. But just to give you an idea of what a metal watchtower base looks like. So we're nearly there. We've just got to put the roof on. And then we're going to skip the second part of this as the watchtower is built. Now what you'll notice is you can jump between the two here, which is really good if you need to in a hurry because you're under attack. We just need to get the fourth gate on now, which is this. Obligatory metal wire goes on, so we convert into a gate. We've put a gate also on the bottom of the first watchtower. We're going to set this is now the sixth gate that you will put code locks on all of these. And of course, the barbed wire at the top. And lastly, from the opposite side, because there isn't enough room there for me to place the next wall is the final metal wall. And that way, this is going to take a little bit of time and effort to come and raid us. So you've got six gates to get through, and this is where you're going to be stashing all of your high-end gear at the top of the watchtowers, or inside the watchtowers. And to get out, you've got a two-gate system. We're only going to use one for the time being. And then we're going to just nip downstairs, close up all the gates, and head outside and show you what the finished article looks like. Now it looks pretty attractive in my view. Um, I do like the metal builds but it is a pain in the ass finding all that metal. It is a very secure location. We're going to head on down now to where our garage is and this is another very simple situation. Barbed wire at the top so they can't climb through at the top that is. And there's my vehicle. So this is a, a little view from the very top. If you take the camo nets off, as you can see. So this is another very simple base. This is what I call a dam base. So you build a watchtower foundation. You put a gate on the reverse. And then you build up one platform. As you can see, you've got a great little view. You 
just finish off the sides make sure your back is covered both sides it looks better if they're covered we'll whack a little bit of storage in here just double check from down there there's no way in or out there there's a little bit of a gap there should someone run up to it but you're going to have much more of an opportunity to snipe them from there or we'll take them out and then that's the view you can go fishing here you can do all kinds of bits and you're relatively safe so you jump over the wall to get out you don't need to reset your padlock so that's a safe way out to get in you're gonna to have to go through the main entrance and looking from a distance again you can barely see it and this is the bird's eye view that's from the front end and this is from the back end again it's only there you can really see it so there you have it another simple one now this is a very simple minimalistic setup on the outskirts of Tizzy deep in the woodland you've got six shelters you're not going to see this from the outside the only way you're finding this is if you're coming inside the forest and you kind of stumble across it so there's 600 storage capability here and that's without dig sites crates barrels i think it's a perfect little hiding spot so here's another very simple build but it's going to turn into a bit of a maze now you can extend this a lot more it should you wish to make it a little bit more complicated but you start off with a watchtower base only you don't build the rest of the watchtower but you do build the gate once you put the gate on you then surround the base with a that is a cutoff point but you surround the rest of the base with a series of additional gates all with four dial code locks so we're going to skip forward a little bit here and you're going to see that we're able to run all the way inside and there is the cutoff point and there's the main gate now we're going to finish this off with completing the very last gate here now the beauty of this is that people running up to this base are not going to know which entrance you actually use because you could actually use any of them at any time now breaking down gates is also a little bit difficult you do need five grenades or a shed load of tools melee weapons that's what it looks like from above and you can extend it as far as you wish easy build this is the famous barn base as you're about to see I have my own style here as we go through the doors we have a three tier gate system with two airlocks the first one being a normal size the second airlock is big enough to fit your vehicle in and you have a first floor watchtower as we go through the third gate you'll see plenty of room for storage but more importantly another two gates on either side of the last watchtower now these are your pvp platforms if anyone's trying to raid you good easy access and easy shots easy kills this is the other gates i was talking about as we come into the main base area loads of room car tents medium tents barrels crates whatever you want just make sure you block off any gaps in the walls as you've just seen now here we have the back end protection so we have a watchtower base and then we have two gates to the right hand side both filled with barbed wire both top and bottom now that gap you can see in the middle of the screen people can crawl through that so i've devised this little trap for them and as you're about to see from this angle you've got barbed wire top and bottom on the first gate should they be able to crawl through and miss that they're going to be trapped in here and they're going to be cut and wounded quite badly from this platform is the perfect opportunity to kill them so that's my idea of the barn base be interested to see yours So if you haven't quite managed to build a base yet and you still want to set some traps and catch the odd survivor here and there, this is one sure easy way of doing so. So this is a trip wire, add metal wire that is, and sticks. It's as simple as that, you place it, be careful because it will trip you over. 
and then you place a grenade. Shut the door. And more often than not, people are not even going to see this. You trip and you are dead. Straight away. Okay, so here's a little square base. And now we're just going to set up some protection and some defences. So as you can see, I'm setting up trip wires. This is now the fourth trip wire being set. It's in a castle ruins base, so nice and confined. And we're going to set up four bear traps and also place down four landmines. And once we've done that, we're going to set some zombies off and give you an idea of how effective a very simple confined little base can be when you set your traps. So let's just take an aerial view of these traps. So there you go, two trip wires, bear traps, land mines, through here, every exit and entry, two more trip wires with grenades on, one more land mine, and on the left side, two more bear traps. So, there's a couple of zombies now up this way, and let's just see how effective these are. And bearing in mind, zombies set off all of these if they walk directly into them or stand directly on top of them. So there you go, instant kill on one of the bear traps and he's just set off a landmine. So there you go, protecting your base. Be careful though, because this can happen. So here we are again, back where we first started with some great footage of Chinaris. Now there are thousands of different places on this map for you to go and build and lots of different base building strategies for you to go and find. We've also in this video talked about how best to try and protect our bases and our loot and I hope I provided some helpful tips for you. But now this is over to you. It's your turn to go and create your masterpieces and I look forward to hearing all about it in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one.